Welcome to my channel. This is the creative writing tutor, Kenny, and I'm going to help you start writing today. Let's do it. Nobody ever got to see my head without a hat. You get to see it in the first video. And now it's over. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when we write a story is create the main character. That's your first thing. Nothing else comes before that. No setting, no plot, no time, no nothing. Main character first. And we're not talking about your main characters, your main character one singular person who is your main character who is your batman who is your your rick who is your wonder woman who is your superman who is your captain america who is your um losers club who who is your main character i know i said singular losers club is an is is a Exception. Stephen King is always the exception, not the rule, okay? That man is above all laws of writing, all right? So let's just get that out the way now. Um, but once you hit his level, you know, psh, do what you want. But this is for beginners. This is where we're starting, okay? So main character first. And then what do I mean by starting with your main character? What I mean is absolutely what it sounds like. You have your idea for your story. That's cool. Put that to the side, though. You're not worried about that right now. What you're worried about right now is your main character. Who is your main character? What is a cool person that you would love to just continuously write about? Take that person and create them. What do they like to eat? What do they sound like? What do they dress like? How, how long is their hair? What color are their eyes? Um, what do they smell like? What, what school do they go to if they, if it's, if they have some sort of religion in their life? What religion are they? You know, whatever. Every single detail about that main character, you write it down, you type it out, you get it out of the way, and then you have your foundation for your story. Without that foundation, you have no story. That's just the truth. And I'm pretty sure that any big name author will tell you the same thing. If you don't have your main character, you won't have a story. And that's just what it is. That's just the truth. It's just what it is. You can take it from me and you don't, you don't have to. It, it's just, it's the truth. All right. And it's the truth. All right. Listen to me. Cause I know what I'm talking about. It's the truth. So you have this main character. You've written a description down. What's next? Well, What's next actually depends on you. Um, do you consider your antagonist to be just as big as your protagonist? If so, create your antagonist next. Once you create that antagonist, you need to choose your protagonist or your main or your antagonist or both to base the setting around. The setting comes around them. Your plot is something is your idea that you already came up with. You got that already. Your setting is what goes around those two characters. Um, so basically, you could bring your protagonist from the outside in. So if your protagonist say like, is your your protagonist is an FBI agent, and they're coming from California, and they're going all the way to Chicago, and your Chicago is like Gotham, then you're gonna have this FBI agent come from California to Chicago that is like Gotham because I truly believe that Chicago is the basis for Gotham anyway, like deep down. But your antagonist is from Chicago. So if your antagonist is from Chicago, your FBI agent is coming to Chicago, Chicago should be built around your antagonist, which makes Chicago a symbol, a symbol of your antagonist. So if your antagonist is like kooky, Chicago should be kooky. If your antagonist is very, very dark and grimy, then Chicago should be the same way. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you know Batman, which everybody knows Batman, you take Gotham, you have Batman and you have Joker. Gotham is built around Batman. Batman is dark. Gotham's dark. 
Batman is Batman suffers a lot of turmoil on the inside. Gotham is in turmoil all the time. Batman is Batman is I won't say depressed, but he's like you know, he's he's down. He's just he's down and he has to fight that all the time in order to save face as Bruce Wayne. Gotham does the same thing. At night, Gotham shows his true colors. It's really just it's terrible but in the daytime gotham is like any other city and and it's just you know you just see that and you and you you see the symbolism gotham is batman and batman is gotham that's just how it is and then when you add the joker into that equation you get to see that gotham is actually kind of like joker also because gotham is crazy joker is crazy so then you have that but you see that your setting is based off of your characters. So once you figure that out, your characters, once you figure them out, you create them, descriptions, everything, know what they like to eat, all the way down to how many times their stomach gurgles in a day, and you don't have to go that far, I'm just kidding. But once you get that down, you are ready to write your story because your story is going to be your characters, your setting, your idea. Characters, setting, idea. That's pretty much it. That's how you start your story. Now, you may not actually be writing the story for the first couple of weeks of writing five days a week. You could be just creating the characters and that's fine because you don't have to think about anything pertaining to the characters after you've created your characters the way you wanna create them. So your story is gonna actually just be flown, flown, flown through. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the end of what I wanted to say. Um, I hope it helps in some kind of way. I probably got off into a tangent and you probably got lost at some point, but the big take is start with your main character, write an outline of your main character and then build around them. Um, next video is coming really soon. I hope you come back. In other words, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, the bell, which is for notifications when I put out a new video, which is very, very soon. And comment down below if you agree or disagree with starting with the main character. And if you disagree with me, I would love to know why you disagree. I, I love to hear other people's perspectives. It's all a part of writing. Different perspectives of people who read and listen. So, yeah. I'm Kenny. Out.